Hi guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Hope everybody's feeling very, very well. So, we are in my bathroom. Welcome to the Shreenham household bathroom. So, a few of you guys have been asking me would I do a skin um, care routine um, due to the fact that some of you feel like my skin is nice and healthy and glowy. Um, I thought, okay, why not? Because I use these products just about every day. Sometimes they do vary, sometimes I'll try something different, particularly if I get them in my subscription boxes. But for the most part, this is what I tend to reach for most of the time. The evening skincare does change slightly, so I will of course do an evening skincare routine for you guys as well. So let's get a crack in. So the first thing I do is obviously wash my face in the morning. I didn't want to bore you with the details of actually washing my face. Once my face is nice and dry, then go ahead and exfoliate using the Nip and Fab. These are daily exfoliate pads. Um, I really do like these. I tend to get these when they are sort of like discounted or half price. You get 60 pads in here. And basically you just cleanses and exfoliates and I do use these daily they are a daily fix so it shouldn't cause you any dryness and I do like the evening ones they've got an evening ones of these as well which I really also like to use so I just grab literally one of these and pop it all over my face now the pads are textured so one side is mm, bubbly, bouncy bobbly it's got some texture there the other side is a little bit more smoother just recommend that you don't particularly put these under your eye, but if I do, then I will use the smoother side. So I start off with my forehead and just give it a rub, but not too hard. You don't want to cause yourself or your skin any damage. Take it across the cheek. I tend to start in the centre of my face and work my way out on my nose, my chin. And again, the same on this side, making sure I get in that nose area because sometimes I do suffer with blackheads and in my nose area. And just follow the pad down to my nose, making sure I get both sides. And again, just down the sides here. And whatever is left, I just whip it over my neck. Okay, so that's that done. So there is, even though I've washed my face, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's still quite a lot of dirt on and around my face. So it shows that it does actually remove any, I don't know, build up of makeup, I guess, dirt, grime, daily living outside. So I will always use these forever because I know that they actually do work. The second thing I tend to do is I'll spray some of this. I do suffer with a little bit of dry eye and I can, can sometimes have very sensitive eyes when I apply makeup. So I just normally give these a couple of um, squirts in each eye, close your eye and spray. So it does help with my eyes watering. I wouldn't say it completely stops, but I do notice the difference of when I forget to use it, apply makeup, my eyes are streaming in comparison to when I do use it. I'll have an occasional, maybe a little bit of like weepiness from the eyes, but not very much. So that is my second thing. Then I go on to my lashes. I use this in the morning and evening. So this just helps to encourage your eyelashes to grow. This is by Lashes MD. And I think I got this in a Fab Fit box. Hmm, I've been using it since I got it, which is probably about two months ago. To be fair, I can't see a massive, massive difference. So I would just apply this along the lash line. I'm actually using my viewfinder in my <laughs> on my camera so please excuse me if I get it a little bit wrong and I do should I wear glasses but 
this is me just showing you. Now, normally I would put it on my bottom lash line as well. I'm got, going to try and attempt that with that mirror, but I would normally do that. And I, as I said, I use that in the morning and um, in the evening. Next, this is a retinol serum that I use. This has 2.9% of retinol in it. It's got vitamins in it. So I do feel like, I always give my stuff a little shake as well. I do feel like this leaves my skin nice and glowy. So one squeeze of the pump, it gives me enough in that dropper to do my face and I tend to roll it down onto my neck. So I will apply some on my forehead on my face, down my nose, same on here, all the way around. And whatever is left, I will drop some on my neck as well. Okay, to rub this in, I tend to use a real technique. This is a expert face brush. And I will do circular motions to rub that in. And the serum is quite thick, so it's not like an oil. So you haven't got to worry too much about it dripping everywhere. It kind of stays in its place. So I'll just rub that all in my face. Circular motions. Down my nose. Down the side of my nose. Once that's rubbed in, I will then go onto the neck and just give that a good rub. And I take it right down and it just gives it a nice, I feel, healthy looking glow and puts a bit of moisture back into my skin. I do have central heating in this house. Um, so, you know, depending on the weather, obviously I have the boys here, they refuse to keep blankets on at night, kind of tends to strip off to nothing. So I'm conscious of having to keep the heating on to keep the boys nice and warm, but it does dry my skin out quite a lot. So I do pop a little pot of water underneath my radiator just to put some moisture back in the air. So if you guys suffer with that and you haven't heard of that trick before, I feel like it does kind of help. Right, so we've got that in. That serum, just literally, it's like, but my skin is like a sponge with that serum. It just literally, I mean, there's nothing there. It absorbs. So already we can see that we have a nice little glow going on there. Well, I hope you can see, but I can see that there is definitely a nice, healthy little glow going on there. Right, next I will go on to under eyes. This is, what is it? Dr obsessed this has a retinal eye cream in it as well i always tend to give this a shake i always shake my products i don't know whether you're meant to <laughs> now i like this because it's got like one of these silver ball things at the end so it's really cooling on the eyes so i just pop a little bit if i can squeeze any out i've been using this for quite a while and it looks like it's probably in and out. Right, there we go. So I just pop some little dots with this product, not particularly under the eye here, but just at the bottom of my bag area, and then I will squish it all over the eye area. Okay, so this is running out, so Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more on this side. Woo, that's nice. Right, so using this applicator, I'm just gonna squish it all around the eye. See if it helps with some wrinkles. I do tend to put a little bit up here because I suffer with wrinkles, or suffer with wrinkles all over my face, but I'm sure you know what I mean. And then again here, 
it's been super gentle your skin is so so delicate and thin underneath your eye this applicator is so cooling Now I don't put retinol on my eyelids because I feel like, because it is retinol and your eyelids are so thin. Um, I don't know whether it would make them sore. I haven't tried it. Um, I'm just quite happy putting it on and around the eye area here. And then with my ring finger, I'm going to pat that serum into the eye. Just keep patting. And up here where I put some. And then with this, do the same. I feel like I probably put too much on actually. No, I don't really know. And keep patting. Okay. So while we're waiting for that to absorb into my skin, next I will do my lips i use um this is an elf lip scrub so it's like a lipstick kind of thing i do like this actually it rolls up like a lipstick and i just generally pop this on my lip smoosh my lips together Again, with my ring finger, I'm going to just massage in the circular motions. And then wipe it off. I love these. These are uh, my cellar. These are cleansing facial wipes. Now, when I'm doing the scoring in the morning, I haven't got time to do all this. So when I get up, I will use one of these in the morning just so I can get out the door and I look a bit more awake. And then I will drop the children off, come back, and then do my um, skin routine then. So I'm just going to grab on these and remove. Okay, so I just removed any dead skin. Now, a lot of people, I think, skip this step, but for your, particularly because we um, we have a trend at the moment with the old uh, liquid lipsticks, I feel like if you do not exfoliate your lips, um, the lipstick will not sit on nicely and properly and it looks lumpy and bumpy. So I do that daily. Um, and you can just tell the texture is beautiful. Next, I put on a lip plumper, which is this. So, apply a pea sized amount onto the lips. This has got a rather heavy scent of like mint, but it's nice, it's nourishing. I'm not sure it plumps, but. Lovely, so that's that done. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe that off because obviously I don't want any issues or any other products I'm going to use on my face. So I'm just going to check now to see whether this eye serum has seeped in, which it has. Next, I'm going to use a retinal moisturizer. This is Advanced Anti-Wrinkle Formula. This has, mm, I can't see how much retinol this actually has in it. Now I've only been using this for maybe like three weeks um, along with the serum. They are like companions if you like. So I will do a review and see whether they are any good, but you can get them off um, Amazon. And I'm happy to leave the link down below if you want to take a look yourself and have a look. And I also got this off Amazon as well. And I'll leave all the links down below of the products I'm using. So this has a pulley off lid. 
love the packaging it's not very expensive either and I love the fact that it's got one of these push pumps so that amount of product is good for your face and any leftover is really good for your neck and again I use the Real Techniques brush just dob some cream onto the brush and just dob it all over my face and anything left I will use on my neck so again circular motions brushing out the way again I won't tend to take this under my eye because I already have retinal um, eye cream so I don't want to be too heavy with putting loads of retinal stuff under my eye making sure I get my nose up the sides and my forehead okay so whatever's left in the brush and on here I'm just going to use that and drag that down my neck again in circular motions I find this cream quite hydrating and always leaves my a glowy look a healthy glowy look on my skin then take one of these this is particularly for um suntan lotion but i just like to take this and just push any products that i put on i feel like it just helps push it into the skin so it's not sitting on the skin this step you can obviously skip if you like or you can use your hands so I'll just keep pushing that in so that's that done and that feels like very moisturized next I will use this this is a hyaluronic plumping mist this is by balance me and I'll just give this a couple of spritz Mm, it smells lovely and it's so refreshing I really really like this stuff and maybe use this just to push that in a bit as well and then finally if I'm not going to be going out today or whatever I've got nothing to do or maybe a few errands I will just give my face a little spritz with Candy Cosmetics, this is a pre-glow up mist. Just gives a little bit of glow to the skin. Do you have to give it a really violent shake? And then you end up with a beautiful mixture like this. I'm dying to try the um, London Iconic one, but I'm gonna wait till I finish using this first. And then I just literally give that a couple of spritz. Wait for that to settle in. And then that is it. I tend to leave my skincare for about 10, 15 minutes just to allow it to absorb completely into my skin. And then I'll apply some makeup. I hope you found this video very useful. Any questions, please leave in the comments down below. And if you'd like to know the products that I use, I will also leave the links for you to have a look. Okay, so that is it. Until we speak again, please take care of yourselves, my lovelies, and each other, and I will speak soon in the next video. Bye for now. Take care. Bye.